All right. Pay the damages and I'll let them go. But I never knew right to come out or wrong. some time? Why not? What do you got in mind? Come on. What's your name, old man? Jeff. After Jeff Davis? No, sir. Just after me. Where are you from, Jeff? I was born in Kentucky. Kentucky? You hear that, fella? He's from Kentucky. Well, now, anybody from Kentucky ought to be able to play a harmonica real good. No, sir. Don't play anything. Don't play anything? Are well, you spoofing me? Now, everybody from Kentucky plays something. I don't play anything. Oh, I can't hardly believe that. I tell you what, Tolly's got a harmonica. Why don't you try and play it? Mrs. Barkley's waiting for her horse to be saddled. Give him the harmonica, Tolly. Play. Faster. Faster. Just funnin', ma'am. You're the poorest excuse for a human being I've ever seen. You figure you're gonna like them marauders any better, ma'am? Is there a difference? Luciano, you're the most beautiful colt in the whole valley. And you're going to win a blue ribbon this year at the county fair, too. Mother, look at him. He's standing here just like a lamb and he isn't even tied. She'd never know he was unbroken. By the time Nick gets home, I'll be able to show him halting class. Won't he be surprised? Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, this morning I caught some of David's men bullying poor old Jeff. Why doesn't Mr. Winkup do something about it? Apparently, he still doesn't think it's necessary. Or doesn't care. Somehow, we've just got to get word to your brothers. But how? They must be a hundred miles from here. I don't know. We sure do need them.
They're signaling again. I almost wish they'd attack and get it over with. I just sent a wire to the boys to send the herd on with the skeleton crew and get back here as quickly as possible. A wire? But I thought they were on the trail with the herd. They are, but they'll stop in Brownsville for supplies. Well, when will they get there? In a couple of days. Brownsville. I hope they hurry. <laughs> Wait to get to Brownsville and cut some of this dust off. Well, I figured you'd be pretty used to it. You got enough dust in all those law books of yours. Oh, is that so? Mm-hmm. Well, then, Brother Nick, maybe you'd like to negotiate the contract for this herd. Oh, no, 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 no. I find my uh, spelling pretty dusty, too. That's what I thought. Well, well. We've just about given you up. You must have scouted clear to Nevada. Oh, how damn's a dry like a spit cut. What happened to your canteen? Well, the horse got the last of it this morning. You know there's not a drop of water between here and Brownsville? Well, now, there are three streams. They can't all be dry. Well, they are. Well, it's nearly 40 miles to Brownsville. Without water, that herd can't make it. Well, I met an old prospector. He said there's a big water hole 20 miles east of here. 20 miles east? Do you know it, Nick? Yeah, I've heard of it. Not much grazing along the way. That's why most drives don't use it. Well, they could cut through the pass there. Forget Brownsville. That run is pretty short on supplies. Well, it's better to be short on supplies than have a dry herd. We'll forget Brownsville. All right, it's settled. Forget Brownsville? Too bad about that little dancer waiting for him there, isn't it? Well, she'll just have to make do the next time I come through is all. That's cattle business. In the fight. What happened? We were scouting them riders, like you said. A bunch of O'Toole's men jumped us. They killed Tolly before we could get away. You should have been on the lookout. We was. That's how come they got Tolly. He was riding on up ahead, and all of a sudden, there's about 10 of them all around him. They come at us so fast, we didn't hardly have time to draw. Hmm. Better get that hand taken care of. What do you think you're doing? Let that horse go! Get for my brothers, and you've no right to touch him. Easy, boy. Easy. That's a good boy. Good boy, yeah. Wait a minute, Orla. Where are you taking him? Back to his stall, where he belongs. I'm sorry we're breaking the best stock for Remount. He's the prize of the lot. Remount? He's never even had a blanket on his back. Maybe not, but he'd be broken by sunset. Well, you can't do that. This horse is blooded stock. He has to be broken slowly, or you'll ruin his spirit. I don't care about spirit. I only care about speed. I'm not going to let you do it. I'm afraid you've got no choice about that. There are plenty of good horses on this ranch without taking orders. Now, I need fresh horses, Victoria. Fast horses, so my men can move quickly if O'Toole strikes. One horse is not going to stop O'Toole. Let me be the judge of that. Audra has raised that horse since it was a colt. She and Nick nursed it through the colic. Why, she's been working for months with it, training it, working it free so she can exhibit it at fairs. Don't you understand? No, I don't understand. I think you're letting sentiment interfere with your judgment. Well, I happen to believe that sentiment is part of that judgment, and once you believed it, too. The moment I got here, you disagreed with everything I've done. Which is the more important to you? 
few minor sacrifices are the destruction of everything you've built up. Are you sure you and your men aren't trying to destroy everything I've built up? Maybe not in the same way, but just as completely. I've found you can be sure of very few things in this life, Victoria. But if O'Toole comes riding down from those hills, he brings death with him. You can be sure of that. No. No more lost causes, huh, David? I learned at prison camp that causes, lost or otherwise, are for fools. Well, it seems I've been putting my faith in something that doesn't exist anymore, an empty image. I'm sorry you feel that way. Nevertheless, I'll get the job done. Oh, I'm sure you will, David. I'm sure you will. But don't expect me to admire you for it. I liked you better as a fool. Victoria, since that horse seems to mean so much to you and Audrey, you can have it back. Well, what did they say? The wire came back. They didn't stop at Brownsville. They must have taken a different route. 